Do not swear a solemn oath on yourselves or on gods or tin gods that signs evidence should come to you which are favorable pleasing for you and which you want to believe in if they would appear to you. Because truly if you do this then you are swearing an oath against the truth because you cannot understand it. True signs evidence are only with the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation and with its appearance nature as well as with the true prophets who bring you the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation. And do not confuse your inner world consciousness and your eyes through false signs, false evidence from false prophets who want to convert proselytize you to their fabulated invented gods and tin gods through lying and deceptive pictures delusions of the brain as their priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods also do and be certain knowing that neither gods nor tin gods because after all they all are only fabulations inventions of people of your kind human beings send down to you rescuing liberators angels in order to bring you salvation redemption from your missteps blame non-virtuous offenses and vices and in order to wake the dead because truly these are only lying words of enticement without content of reality which are only intended to make you fall prey to the belief assumptions in the hazy pictures fantasies which are presented to you as an illusion Therefore you cannot encounter any liberator angel who saves you face to face. Rather you can only see images of the delusions of the inner world consciousness. If you go astray and it have delusions, but this happens to you through the unholy genus of the truth because you devote yourselves to the belief assumptions and fabulated invented gods and tin gods, and because you also believe in their fabulated invented rescuing liberators angels and demons. Truly, as you believe in gods and demons as well as in liberators angels, and venerable ones holy ones, and in the evil of your kind personified devil, then you do this in unholy genus of the real truth of the true presence existence, of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, which in its consonance harmony and neutrality creates neither good nor evil. Therefore such doings are solely in the might and in the reflection and striving of people of your kind human beings, as you perform it carry out, according to your free volition. And truly, as those amongst you who have your free volition and act according to it, so you create in your rose, according to your free volition, a picture of enmity against the true prophets as well. Thus you are the personified devilishness against them and you make flaunting pretentious speeches against them amongst people of your kind fellow human beings, which are lies and deception and slander calumny, and you act as if the true prophets wanted to influence your volition through coercion with the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, so you truly carry on your fabulated invented lies and slanders calumnies and sell lies and unpeace against them. And so that those amongst you, who do not open their ears to your words of lying and slander calumny, shall fall in bondage to your words, you fabulate and vent all kinds of false signs, false evidence, so that the ones to whom you are lying shall find pleasure in this, so that you can gain rob from them all that they acquire earn, such as gold and possessions. But truly, if you are amongst those who are evil doers and unfair ones and are connected to those who teach the fair ones responsible ones, and righteous ones conscientious ones, then you will find no other judges than those who administer punishment to you in a fair responsible way, so they lead you to places of fulfillment of guidelines secluded places isolated islands where you shall stay for a time during which you turn yourselves away from unfair irresponsible and non-righteous conscienceless things. Do not be doubters in these things, because it is the truth. But if you doubt it and do unfair things, irresponsible things, and non-righteous things, conscienceless things, and evil, so you will have to carry this burden because you will be called to account. The laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation are fulfilled in truth and equitableness fairness, and as a people of your kind human beings, 
you cannot change one iota of them. And if you follow the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, then you are knowing ones and wise ones those of you, however, who follow the majority of those who are on earth and are dismissive of the laws and recommendations, they are leading guiding themselves into delusion and are going along the false path, following a hazy picture delusion, and lying against the truth and slandering calumniating it. Truly, when you are of open sense, then you will very well recognize those who are not taking the right path of truth and are straying from one terrible thing to the next and from one inequity and fairness to another, and are keeping themselves at arm's length from the rightly led ones. And when you are eating and drinking, consider that everything is given to you because everything only prospers and grows through the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation and that your existence also is integrated in this and you only breathe because it is regulated determined through the primal creative rights of the law's principles. And truly, you have no reason not to eat and drink of everything that is given to you through the appearance nature of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, accepting that which is inedible and poisonous to you and therefore do not allow food and drink to be banned to you through coercion by worshippers of gods and worshippers of tin gods, and neither by priests and false prophets and the like, if it tastes good to you and serves for your provision food and truly, there are very many amongst you who pray to gods and tin gods and lie that you are not allowed to eat and drink of this and that because it is unclean but do not open your ears to them because they are only lying and wallowing in their evil cravings of their might over you, and therefore they are wallowing in their lies through a lack of knowledge with regard to the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, by making themselves guilty of infringement of the laws of the primal power creation and do not eat and drink and acquire anything that has been stolen and is offered to you, because truly it is non-rightful to do so also. Do not buy anything that is stolen in order to offer it to others again in return for gain dealing in stolen goods, because this is also non-rightful therefore do not allow yourselves to be ensnared in deeds of non-right when false friends tell you to do so and therefore do not fight with them regarding stolen goods either but keep yourselves away both from the non-right goods and from the false friends, because if you listen to them then you will fall into non-right and do non-rightful deeds, and your reward will be shameful. And avoid obvious infamous actions, crimes, and outrageous deeds of Gavald, as well as clandestine ones, because truly whoever commits infamous actions, crimes, and outrageous actions of Gavald will receive a poor reward for it. And do not lend your ear to practitioners of suggestive spells and axe magicians, who lie that they could return to life what is dead through the activities of the shadow world activities of hell magic, because truly suggestive trickery magic, and activities of the shadow world activities of hell magic, are merely delusion and pretense deception against you if you consider it to be the truth because whatever is dead cannot be brought back to life again therefore none are able to walk amongst you who are dead but whoever insists on claims. Something different is one who is chained in the blackest darkness of the lie and is unable to come forth from it unable to liberate oneself truly, whatever they do in terms of suggestive trickery magic, and activities of the shadow world activities of hell magic and whatever they say about it is lies and deception and only serves them to appear pleasant towards you to enjoy high standing. Truly, there is neither suggestive trickery magic, nor activities of the shadow world activities of hell magic, because all this is merely lying and deception and acts of trickery ledger domain, like everything that requires suggestive sayings magic formulas, 